Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party! I am hungry! And in this one we're gonna be taking a look at the new podium vehicle. As always we're gonna be looking at its exterior, its interior, the way it customizes and performs in Los Santos Customs and we're gonna give it a verdict at the end of the video. Is it worth it or not? And with that let's start with the 360 around the vehicle with me shouting a couple of facts your way. Did you know it has 4 wheels? Oh I'm, I'm sorry I shouldn't have literally shouted at you. Let's go back to the safe zone. I'm hunting for a wabbit. Ugh, fine. Don't click off the video. I'm gonna give you some information about the vehicle. First, it's called the Ubermach Revolta. And yes, that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, I think. Basically, Kakalugi as you're pronouncing the name. As for the interactivity of the Ubermach Revolta, you can open the hood, the trunk, and all four doors. The Uber. Okay, I'm not gonna do it again. But it is part of the sports car category in GTA Online. And as the four doors indicate, it can sit four people. Why would you need that considering you don't have any friends? Ha ha ha! I don't know. Wait, was I just talking about myself? Hmm. Anyway, the vehicle was released in early 2018 and is made to resemble some concept Cadillac in a concept BMW 8 series. But I think the inspiration from the Cadillac is more pronounced. As for the interior, it's horrible. Or should I say generic? Or, you know, both. The only thing from the interior that I really like are the Tesla-esque seats. And the noise the car makes. And with that, we're off to Los Santos Customs, but first, let's see what type of drivetrain the vehicle has. Now, I've been called an idiot before for my scientific methods, but here's why I do it. If I hold the brake and the gas at the same time, the car just spins its rear wheels. But as it turns out, it's an all-wheel drive vehicle. And that was another episode of Learning with Bull Sheep. So to you guys that tell me you don't know how to drive and you don't know how to test vehicles properly, just shut up. Or I'm gonna call the ambulance. And while I'm on that topic, make sure you're subscribed cause you're gonna need to call the ambulance for me if you don't. And as far as the Ubermacht is concerned, it drives flawlessly. I'm actually surprised by how much I like this vehicle and I should say this is my first time driving it. But um, it feels like a very well balanced tank. And that's a good thing by the way, it has great acceleration out the box, it has good top speed from what I can tell, and it's very heavy which means you can just push around other vehicles on the street. The brakes are decent, but the best feature the vehicle has is the incredible traction. I mean, it feels almost like it's glued to the road, unless you jump on other cars, then you'll probably crash. But so far so good, I really can't wait to see what kind of customization we can do in Los Santos Customs. So without further ado, let's get in. And here we are finally at Los Santos Customs and ooh, we can modify this vehicle at an MOC or an Avenger. Interesting. And we can also sell it for zero dollars. Even more interesting. And just like I do with every customization, first things first, upgrade all the performance up front. This way I won't forget anything and it allows me to skim over the customization option. What, that's it? Okay, so the first customization option is uh... Ugh, liveries. And uh, I gotta say, for a vehicle released in 2018, uh, this is pretty bare bones. I mean, we can't even customize any of the bumpers. And to add an insult to injury, I can't even access all the liveries. Great, great, that, that's just great. Oh, but that's cool, I can at least customize the license plate. And I can also customize the wheels, that's amazing. But I actually kinda like those, so I'm gonna keep them as is. Which brings us to the last customization options, which is the tint of the windows. I know guys, it's pathetic. But it is what it is and beggars can be choosers, I guess. And uh, it's that magical time again where we go to the poll and see what color you guys chose for this week's podium vehicle. And in case you're wondering, last week we had, pff, for some reason, Potato winning the poll and I improvised and I chose a color that resembled Potato, kind of. But let's see what color won this week. I mean, we can't have a repeat of last week, can we? I hate you guys so much. I mean, thanks for voting. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, thank you for voting and thank you for taking the time to actually input your opinion. And in case you're not familiar with the poll, you need to be a subscriber in order to participate in them. Or at least it doesn't hurt. So why don't you just go ahead and click the subscribe button. And I know what you're saying to yourself, but bullshit, that's not a potato color. Well, it is in my eyes. And the purple, I frankly cannot justify it. But it's there to stay. And as for the trim color, guess what we're gonna choose? Was that potato? No. Yellow? No. Green? No. 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 Of course we're gonna make a pimp mobile and make it purple as well. Um, I mean, spoiler. And with that, sadly, we're done with the customization of this vehicle. So let's take it out for a spin and see how it behaves after upgrading the performance. 
Is it a plane? Is it a boat? No, it's an incredibly ugly car made even uglier by a colorblind person. Okay, I take that back, partially. The car is beautiful, but the color is marron. As for the way it behaves and performs and all that good stuff, it should come to no surprise that the car behaves incredibly. It feels great, and I can definitely see this being near, not the top, but near the top of the class. Definitely one of the fastest four-door vehicles in the game, I think. The grip is better, acceleration is better, top speed is better, braking is about the same, but uh, we can't have it all. But talking about can't having it all, let's see what the Avenger and I can request it. Great. One moment. And apparently I needed to exit the vehicle in order to call the Avenger, which makes no sense, but whatever. At this point, I kind of have hoped that we're gonna have more customization options when we go into the Avenger. Is that realistic? Probably not. Is this video informative? Probably not. Am I smart? Probably not. But you all seem to like the video, and that's what really matters. And here we are inside the Avenger with the Ubermacht! And uh, no, no, we don't have any more customization options, but at least we have this thing right here. We can add weapons to it. Or more specifically, we can add a machine gun to the front of it. Which, in my book, kind of makes up for the horrible customization. And if you can tell, I'm using customization in air quotes. And here we are kicked out of the Avenger, and uh, let's see what we have here. We have weapon, 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 weapon. How did that get in there? Weapon, weapon, and the machine gun. And I gotta say, I didn't want to like this vehicle as soon as I saw the customization level. But the machine gun totally makes up for that. I'm fine with my vehicle looking like Barney the Dinosaur's fossil, as long as it has this machine gun. I gotta be honest with you guys, I can't help but smile every time I use this. And the other thing is the vehicle just handles so beautifully and it has this amazing weight behind it that it makes using it so much fun. As I said before, I'm not thrilled about the limited customization, but I am thrilled however about the way the vehicle handles and the fact it has machine guns in the front. I mean, how cool is that? So to answer the question, is this vehicle worth it? Thank you. It depends on your position coming into this. Keep in mind that this vehicle costs about 1.5 million dollars. But if you're watching the video in the week it was released, then this is the current free Lucky Wheel podium vehicle. And I know what people say sometimes in the comments, you can never beat free and free is free and whatever. But that's not always the case. I can slap you for free, that doesn't make it worth it for you. Or if it does, send me a DM. But in this case, getting it for free is totally worth it. You might win some races with it because it has great acceleration and decent top speed and great handling. But more importantly, I'm gonna be using it for free roaming. And I think it's actually one of the best vehicles for that. Limited customization excluded. And as you can see, despite its heavy weight, it can also go off-roading. Which is pretty remarkable. And with that, it's time to end this one. Thank you so much to everybody that watched. Hopefully you liked the video and if that's the case, please don't forget to leave a like. If you're new to my content and you like it, make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload. If the YouTube content is not enough for you, go on Patreon and support me there for a dollar a month and you'll get an extra video every single week. And with all that said and done, I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> What's that smell? It smells like... Machine guns. <laughs>